Nerd Soul. Ooh, ha ha. Late ill kid at one to hold it down. We need a streaky nerd soul. Nerd soul gaming right here. You know what we're doing. Um, this is the grasshopper path, and part of the grasshopper path is finding some people that are better than you to put you up on game. Um, we are gonna go through some matches uh, that I got a chance to record with um, Open Mind. Open Mind is someone who uh, watches the show, checks out the show, and happens to be in the FGC. And um, he was like, hey, yo, you wanna you wanna get up on some matches? And I was like, of course, you know what I'm saying? I'm on my grasshopper to master mission, you know what I'm saying? And, and maybe not a master, it maybe, maybe, maybe just a, maybe just a brown belt. But <laughs> right here, you can see myself uh, with Ken, Open Mind has Kage, and right now, as you can see, it's not looking good for your boy. Uh, takes the first L. This is the, this is, I believe, the first fight that we had uh, where we were kind of trying to get the online to work there was there was something going on with my audio it was crazy uh, but we did get a chance to get together and fight uh, while also like semi messaging on Instagram um, so anyway I'm going to get into the fight uh, as you can see right here you know brothers trying you know trying to get his you know my inputs just ain't clean enough uh, one thing I struggled with a lot during this whole match is getting clean inputs and the the least you know or the the less clean my inputs the more skittish i feel about approaching an opponent and in this case i felt extremely skittish because of how unclean my inputs were i felt like my fireballs weren't coming out straight i felt like my my um what is that i felt like my my hurricane kicks weren't working the dragon punches nothing um as you can see he gets like crush counters over and over um i tried to hold it down in the in the uh in the uh corner but of course i get crossed up uh open mind does a great job of like crossing up um he continues to cross up as you can see um and of course it's a it's a good message like if if someone can't stop it then why in the world should you stop doing it um, so in this case, uh, I do try to keep up, if you will, just a little bit, um, <laughs> try to keep up and keep in step. Um, and I kind of get close, I believe, on a couple occasions to try and like kind of take them down. But closing, even though I did close this round, closing is not the it is not the easiest for me, even at this time. Um it's it's just not it's not a good look uh it's, it's just not a good look when i'm trying to get those last little pieces of health up off my opponent um those last little those last little pieces of a bar you know trying to get trying to get rid of them joints is not always easy um so right here as you can see i come with you know two fireballs i'm feeling clean on those i go in for i think i was going in for a throw like a tech throw or something but that did not happened unfortunately um i opened up i was probably button mashing because i did not block got caught with the uh got caught with the l combo once again i thought i would wake up with the strong i probably should have waked up with a medium dragon punch but i got killed well i got beat that round um and this one because just spoiler alert i don't win any of my matches uh with with open mind but i mean you know rightfully so you know what i'm saying i'm still I'm still like a white belt in this, um, and as, as you can see, the the uh, the input was not clean because they should have that should have went from the medium the 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 back medium the back high, uh, uh, back strong and back fierce. Then um, uh, hurricane kick. I keep getting caught in the corner um, and caught in the corner in not a good way. Um, you know, just keep getting chipped chipped the heck out of. Um, V triggered, stunned. It's not a good look for your boy. Uh, I'm surprised he didn't close me out. You know, thank you for not closing me out, open mind. Uh, uh, he he asked me before we started fighting. He was like, "Do you want me on God mode?" And I was like, "Yeah, man. I don't want you to hold back. I want to learn. You know what I'm saying? I want I want to, you know, I want to face 
you know, a, a steeper competition and try to figure out how to win. Um, and this one, and uh, one, one thing that I did like is he kind of matched me up with Shoto characters. Um, so I could kind of get a little more practice against Shoto's. Um, the problem that I have with uh, with a with an onslaught sort of like sort of like I'm getting right here is being able to find that opening to kind of like respawn. Um, and maybe it might be a situation of just not using the right inputs, or maybe I should be more patient. Um, but just trying to figure out like when to come in, when to wait for the jump. Um, and things of that nature. Uh, my normal, my normal combos that I'm using towards other white belts aren't aren't seeming to work. Um, I'm getting crush countered over and over, and finally taken out, uh, which is horrible, saddening, if you will. Uh, but but learning a lot. Like for instance, you know what I'm saying. One thing that he does very well is making sure that he's maintaining that pressure on me and making sure making sure that he continues his advance like you don't you don't really see him kind of like unsure in his attack and that's something that i can definitely learn but like i said once once my inputs don't come out clean i end up being like oh snap what i'm gonna do what are, what your boy gonna do what your boy gonna do um I, what, I will say I don't do a, enough dancing, so I'll definitely try to get into dancing and um, trying to anticipate moments to do a cross-up because I don't really do any cross-ups, which I should definitely add into the, you know, add into the arsenal, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like the jump low, um, you know, crouch low, medium kind of thing. Uh, because right here, as you can see, the brother wasn't able to pull off Nathan. Um, uh, then on to sort of a Shoto character uh, in um, Sagat, which the reason I call him sort of a Shoto character is he has similar inputs and similar-ish moves. Um, but of course, you know, he's, his size difference and so the and the and the move set is the move is different enough to not be a specific Shoto character, but I mean he still has kind of like a dragon punch of his own, um, a hurricane kick of his own, um, and sort of a sort of a, a fireball of his own as well. Um, so with that plus the the height advantage, the the kind of like the the reach advantage. Is something that is a big problem for me but I did and was able to pull out a win on a character like this because I think I think I had cleaner inputs this time I feel like I feel like this round I had much cleaner inputs and was able to kind of really get into a groove of you know making sure that I was just hitting the the buttons that I wanted to hit and and making sure that I was Staying in the range, but not close enough for him to punish me as much as you know he usually does. Um, and that might just be because I got lucky on the Sagat that round with Sagat. Um, but that that first round, I looked pretty good. Um, as you can see on this one, it's much different. Um, I'm taking a little more punishment. Uh, backed away for the uh, backed away. Came up, came up in a little bit. Caught a whiff on the uh, on the. Um, on the uppercut, but couldn't capitalize, still couldn't capitalize, still no capitalization, still pun still no punishment, and of course, he closes me out. So, it, it's one of those things where figuring out how to properly capitalize, properly punish, is something that I'm still working on. Still trying to, you know, get my, get my you know, thoughts, my, my mind, my thoughts, my spirit around. Um, and then also, also not um, not just kind of moving into the corner because I mean, of course, when it comes to situations like this, just because your inputs aren't as clean as you want them to be, doesn't specifically mean that he knows that. You know what I'm saying? He might not know that your inputs ain't coming through like you want them to come through. You know what I'm saying? He might not know that. So I gotta make sure I keep that in mind to keep. You know what I'm saying? Keep moving. I mean, of course, stay patient, but still keep moving 
and keep myself focused and stay in the fight. You know what I'm saying? Stay in the fight, stay focused, and keep moving. Um, because, of course, as you can see, uh, the brother got hurt and hurt pretty bad. Uh, <laughs> uh, fortunately for me, this is the last round you'll, or the last fight you'll see me in. You know what I'm saying? The, la the last fight you'll see me have to, you know, take this type of punishment. Um, I did like how you swallow, follow that with a, with a, uh, with a very, very slow fireball. Um, and then, of course, his reach for the, for the punches and I mean for the throws is crazy. But I was able to, was able to, you know, kind of like get him in in a close enough range to throw, and caught him with a uh, hurricane kick, you know every now and then out there so that was a good thing you know that was something that i don't think he expected and i don't think that was something that i expected to actually work i expected to either whiff that or give a lot um so there are some you know there are some kind of things that i learned in this in this encounter um of course i'll fight uh you know i try to i try to throw the uh trigger move on that got knocked out of it um but um, mostly, mostly a lot of footsies, um, a couple, a couple actual, you know, moves, uh, a couple actual moves, um, that I was able to connect on, but as you can see, I got him close, but it's always no cigar. Um, so learning how to capitalize on these matches, learning how to capitalize on these fights, how to come through is something that I still need to, you know, beef up my confidence on and not saying to the point of like arrogance where I'm. I think I'm just going to rush down everybody, but being a little, a little more assertive um, in my patience, um, which I think I do pretty well in this match. And I'm staying, I'm staying, you know, I'm, I'm staying. I feel like this is one of the matches. I think out of or not match, uh, one of the rounds. I think in this whole group, there's like two rounds where I feel like I'm actually like in the game, like I'm, like I'm getting clean inputs. Um, I'm, you know, I'm attacking and kind of like coming out at the right times. You know, throwing the right moves at the right time um, and making sure that I'm staying consistent with my blocks and my distance as well. Um, so that's that's something that I enjoyed on this last match. On this last match where I got a chance to kind of enjoy, if you will. <laughs> uh, to enjoy a little bit of, uh, how should you say... Uh, <laughs> Uh, winnership renaissance. <laughs> nah, but for real, for real, it was it was nice to get that round and, and feel like I had like a little bit more control, just a little bit as far as over like the inputs I was putting in, um, keeping up with the keeping up with fighting in general and keeping up with my distance. Here, as you can see, it stays kind of tight at the beginning, but he just walks away after a while. After a while, he just walks away from me and even though I kind of try to keep consistent with the uh, with the footsies a little more of the hurricane kick um, I didn't really punish him like I should have for that whiffed um, uh, well not whiffed but for that uh, for that missed uppercut um, but as you can see he just overpowered me on that one I keep the distance I should have came in and made a difference um, but once again look at this we're extremely close but I get scared. My inputs don't work. I start mashing. You know, my, my inputs aren't coming out. And what happens? I start getting cold feet and I get closed out. So the lesson today is, you know, keep your inputs tight and stop getting cold feet. You know, not too patient. <laughs>